Hey guys, welcome back to Katie's Animals. Have you missed me? I sure hope so. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an updated animal video of all of our animals. Some new, some old, a lot old. <laughs> we have five dogs that we will be in starting off this video with. So let's kick it off with our dogs and then we will get into all the other little critters, which I'm so excited. We have quite a few pets, so let's get on into this. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with our husky, Kira. Hi baby, can you say hi to our friends? This is Kira, I'm sure you guys have seen her in other videos. I know I only have a few videos actually on my channel. Um, over on my TikTok, I have a lot more and my Instagram. I haven't really been active on social media, but she is uh, quite famous over on the Tika Taka. Next is another OG, Mr. Tobias. We call him Toby. He is currently grown out. He is a Shorky, so Shih Tzu, Yorkie mix. Say hi, Toby. Hi. And we'll just jump right on into this guy, Mr. Stanley. He currently has a hematoma in this ear, so that is why he has a hematoma. <laughs> Stanley, say hi. This is our little Frenchie. He is about to turn one years old. Let's just go right on into this one, Miss Tilly. This is our Chihuahua. She is probably the most friendliest Chihuahua you will ever meet. Super friendly, super playful, super great with kids and other dogs. And then down here is, <laughs> we can see her, Lila. Lila. Hi, baby. This is our golden retriever, Lila. She is just a little tiny pup, if you can't tell. Hey, guys, give me space. Lila, girl. Say hi. She's currently training. Lila, girl, come. Come here. Can you sit? Nope, sit. Lila, sit. Sit, <laughs> sit. She thinks, okay, okay. And the pack is going. And we have this little girl who's much bigger. Say hi. Yeah. And we have Mr. Binny Bin, who is very, very big, huh? Yeah. Yes, you are. How old are you? What? Three. Three. Almost four. Yeah. So that is our five dogs. Yes, five dogs makes a pack and we have a pack. Okay, in this enclosure, we have a gerbil. And if you know anything about gerbils, you will notice there is no sand bath. That is because she, well, she covers it. Primrose, this is Primrose. These are little lights. These are just um, decorative pieces. I will insert clips of her uh, when she's actually out because she's currently burrowed in there somewhere. Prim. And in this enclosure, this is Fred. This is our bearded dragon. He is a little over a year. He is very moody today, so I'm not gonna pull him out, but Mr. Fred. Are you ready to eat, buddy? I'll feed ya. I need to clean out his enclosure too. And in here we have our rat, Hermione. She did have a cage mate named Dobby, but Dobby passed away and Hermione is not friendly with any other rats. We have tried multiple times to bond her. Um, we have tried to bond her with a neuter male and other females, um, even fixed females from a rescue, and we've tried multiple attempts. And this girl, come on. She's not having it. Nope, she's not. Say hello. Um, she's not even super friendly with people. She doesn't really like to be held, that's fine. She will let me give her some lovings inside of her cage as long as she has already been fed and I do not have any signs of food on my hand because she will bite me yes but other than that she's happy she's content yes her is yes 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 um it was really sad when dobby passed away because 
Um, I was worried about that. Dobby was super friendly. Dobby got along with other rats. Um, Hermione, on the other hand, didn't get along with other rats and Dobby was the only rat Hermione got along with. And now she's alone and it's sad because rats always do better in groups of two or more if possible. They are very social little guys and um, it's sad that she doesn't like other people. And I've never actually had a rat that didn't like others. Um, and especially, like I thought she would do really well with a neutered male, but she didn't. So we're, we're hoping that maybe one day we'll find her a friend. Um, I am in contact with um, a breeder and um, a rescue, and we've tried. We're working together to try to get her a little friend. But um, until then, this is her enclosure. Since it's just her, this is what she's in. Um, she's got lots to do in there, and we switch things up. And yeah, she's got lots to climb on foraging little toy right there. That's a foraging toy. Her little baskets. Water bottle. She had another one over here, but it broke. And then little ropes and ladders and climbing things and the infamous spiderweb basket. Hi, baby. We do have a leopard gecko in here. Uh, ducky. Ducky. Oh, poor guy. I will have to he'll come out later oh you actually might be able to see a little bit of him maybe no anyways the ducky was on his last leg and I don't know what happened he uh, wasn't eating wasn't drinking all of the things and then by the grace of God he miraculously started eating and drinking and doing all of the little lizard things that it goes do and wasn't just in his wet hide and he had a good shed and now he is doing great he or she we don't really know but um i say he um and now he's growing he didn't grow for like almost like we've had him almost a year and he didn't really get very big and it was really sad so now we're going to show you my son's tortoise this is Arlo. We have him in a like big bin style thing. His ground is like bark, sand, and a hay mixture. And he is a Russian tortoise. Just chilling. <laughs> Yeah, he always like moves this thing around. He needs a bath, but this is my son's job. So when he gets home from school, Mr. Arlo will get a nice soak and then get his little veggies. He's got a little cuddle bone in here. And yeah. And these are our newest members. These are our little budgies also known as parakeets. This is Mango, and I believe this one we are going to name Finley or Dawson, we're not 100% sure. Mango, we're not sure if, it, if he or she is a boy or a girl, so we named Mango's pretty gender neutral. This one is for sure a boy, and we don't know, we don't have a name for you, but Mango is easy. Hi, huh, Mango. Yeah, so um, they have a bigger cage coming. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I am a 90s bird owner, but we do have a bigger cage coming. They do prefer to fly vertically versus um, like upward. So their next cage is taller, a little bit taller and much longer. It's on a stand and it also has more depth to it. And we're just gonna use this as a like backup cage. And I have more stuff coming too, but because we were buying locally, this is just what was available. And for a few days until our order could come, it was pretty suitable, I thought, considering what they were living in. Um, they are on a seed mix, 
right now. I am going to continue doing seed. I know there's a lot of controversy around this. The millet though, I am going to take out and use it as a way of bonding. We do have greens in here um, and we are trying to get them on more fresh chop stuff. We're starting with just greens right now, but they are adjusting and doing great, I think. Yes, aren't you guys pretty birds? Pretty babies, huh? Um, yeah, so these are our animals. We also have worms because I have a worm compost. Oh, I have a worm compost that I used for my garden and I do count them. I have to feed them and take care of them and all of the things. And we do, we will be having like an urban homestead style. Don't mind this area. It's like a, a book reading. There's a nugget and books and a desk and stuff in here. Um, not, it's gonna be my daughter's room, but she's too young right now. But for now it's where the books and the stuffies and the birdies are in here because of Kira. We don't want her to startle them. So it's just safer for them to be in here. And um, it's just perfect with the lighting and just temperature, all of the things. So good bird space, a little quieter. Anyways, we are turning our side yard into a full garden, like urban homestead. So our warm compost is going to help us with that. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you are excited to see me back on YouTube. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and comment below what animal is your favorite. I am going to insert little clips of our leopard gecko because he was not out. Um, he's in his warm hide right now. And because we do the paper towel method, he's kind of underneath the paper towels. Um, so I will insert little clips of ducky, but other than that, let me know which animal is your favorite and which ones you would like to see and learn more about. Oh, and I will also insert clips of Primrose as well, our little gerbil. Um, her enclosure is about to get like revamped and uh, cleaned up and all of the good stuff. So I will actually have a gerbil video soon. Um, and I will go over why her, we rescued her um, and we've had her for a year and she was a year old when we got her. So she's gonna be two. Um, so she just sand all those things. Like she's, she doesn't like that stuff. <laughs> and we've tried for the last year to get her to adapt, but she's just not into it. So we go by what she's used to and what she likes. Um, but I will have how we take care of Primrose in a video very shortly. So I hope you guys like and subscribe and stay tuned for that.